so hello guys welcome back to another video in the last video we saw how we can hook browsers using v framework on the same network so in order to achieve our target uh, we used uh, the pre-installed apache server which comes uh, in kali linux so in this video we are going to see how we can hook browsers over wide area network or the internet so we are going to get uh, uh, the browsers hooked from outside the network so let's see how we can do that so first of all we need uh, two things in order to achieve our target so the first is the tool which is called beef over van uh, this tool is available on github so you can clone the github repository by copying the link i will uh, provide it in the description you can copy it from there and the second thing which we need is the ngrok tool. So ngrok is basically a port forwarding service which can be used uh, to uh, do port forwarding. So I, uh, we will see how we can uh, use ngrok in order to hook browsers over the internet. So first you need to just download it for Linux and then you need to sign up on the ngrok and make an account here so that you can get your own uh, authorization token so as soon as you get your own authorization token uh, you are ready to go now so first of all we will uh, open the terminal so to order uh, to git clone this uh, repository i will just uh, uh, type git clone and then i will copy paste this link here so it will clone the repository so i have already cloned so let's go inside that folder so the folder name will be beep over van. So I will go inside this folder and this tool actually works uh, on Python. So we need to run this tool using Python. So I will type Python. And then the name of the file, which is beep over van and then hit enter. So as you can see, it says you need two links which are forwarded to localhost 80 and localhost 3000 and it gives some additional information how this works so i will press here one and then i will hit enter so here it shows the steps which i need to follow in order to get ngrok running so first of all i need to add these lines to ngrok.yml file which is created in the location this folder and the file name is ngrok.yml so YML is basically a configuration file which uh, ngrok creates when you first uh, run it. So after we download ngrok, uh, let's see how we can. So I will go inside the download folder. So here I have ngrok already downloaded here. So I will get a zip file. You need to extract it by using unzip. So here I have the executable file which is ngrok. So as soon as I run it and I give it the authorization token which I get on the ngrok website after logging in or signing up, uh, as soon as I give that authorization token to ngrok, uh, it will start running. So we need to add some additional lines inside the configuration file of the ngrok so that uh, we can uh, use B framework over the wide area network or WAN so we need to add these lines so for that we need to go to this location so basically this folder is located in the root directory of our system so we need to do, go to the root directory first so i will open another terminal so here i will go to the root directory by typing cd slash root and now here i need to go to that particular folder so i will write cd and then i will copy it from here and then paste it here and after that i will go to this folder and as you can see the year is the file which we need to edit so we can edit this file using any text editor we want so i'm going to use ge editor so here you need to actually see that you have entered these uh, lines over here so you can just copy it from the program here and paste it here just make sure that uh, there are, the spacing is proper so in the second line or 
uh, that tunnels line there should be no spacing in the for year uh, in the second line you need to have one spacing and here you need to have two spacings and so on so make sure the spacing is proper or else the tool will not work properly and after the, the configuration is done now we need to save this file and after saving this file uh, we can exit the editor so let's save this file and exit the editor now we have successfully saved the file now we are ready to run ngrok server so in order to continue to use our tool we first need to run the ngrok file which is the year which we downloaded so after that i need to just run it using dot slash and ngrok and then i need to give a, an a, a command or a argument which is start double hyphen all so as soon as i hit enter as you can see the command has started working and now we uh, are successfully using uh, the port forwarding service so basically there are two links which we are going to use so the first link is this which is uh, forwarding to the local host 80 and the second link is this which is going to forward to local host 3000 so let's see in the uh, tool here so now we need to press enter to continue so after that it will check if the services uh, which are uh, needed are running so it will run b framework first and then after running b framework now we need to enter two links here which are these two this one and this one so these two links are needed inside this application so first link which we need here is uh, this link which is the first one so i will copy this here right click copy link and then i will paste it here and then hit enter so i need to uh, uh, enter another link here so with this one will be the other link so i will copy this and i will i will paste it here and as soon as i hit enter so mm -hmm. here as you can see it has already uh, created the new links now no so we are uh, ready to access our B framework from our browser and as soon as uh, I send this link to the victim and the victim uh, opens this link in the browser we can successfully uh, hook it's, uh, the browser of the victim and now we can run B framework so in order to run B framework over WAN we need to open this link and this will open the beep authentication page so here you can log in into the beep and then you can uh, give commands to the browser so as you can see this is the beep interface so you can log in and then give commands so uh, if you uh, don't know how to give commands in beep uh, you can check out the previous video or the part 2 of the series so in that video we have covered some good commands which are actually useful till date and a lot more so th this is how you can uh, do it and you can hook up the browsers over wide area network so that's it for this video thanks for watching